I'm going to show you how to do a knit stitch. First, I'm going to show you the basic actions involved. With my working yarn coming off the back of my right needle, I'm going to use the tip of my right needle and insert it into the front leg of the first stitch on the left needle in an away from me motion. I'm going to use my right hand and take my working yarn and wrap it counterclockwise around the tip of my right needle, creating a loop. I'm going to pull that loop and my right needle towards me through that first stitch on the left needle, turning that loop into a stitch. I'm going to let that original stitch I worked into fall off that left needle. And here we have our new stitch on our right needle. Let's do that again. With my working yarn in back, insert my right needle into the front leg of the first stitch on my left needle. With my right hand, wrap the working yarn counterclockwise around the tip of the right needle. Pull the tip of the right needle towards me through that first stitch on the left needle creating our new stitch and letting that old stitch fall off the left needle. Here, we have another new stitch on our right needle. I'll just do these steps slowly a few more times. Now that I've shown you the basics of knit stitch, I'm going to show you how to knit the first stitch of a new row of stitches. I'm going to move this needle with all holding all of my stitches into my left hand and move the empty needle into my right hand. The working yarn is coming from the right end of this left needle. Just as before, you want your working yarn behind your work in order to make knit stitches. Be sure to not take your working yarn over the top of the needle. Take it under the needle to the back of your work. With the tip of your right needle, insert it into the front leg of the first stitch on my left needle. With your working yarn, wrap counterclockwise around the tip of the right needle. Pull the right needle towards you through that first stitch on the left needle, creating this new stitch and letting that old stitch fall off the left needle. Then you can carry on just as you learned earlier in the basic section of this video. If you knit every single row, you'll create garter stitch. Garter stitch is a really wonderful fabric with these beautiful ridges and it's extra, extra warm. It's a great place to start learning how to knit. Mm -hmm.